Landmine and explosives detection is becoming an increasingly relevant field as war-torn countries, among others, find themselves facing the dangerous prospect of having vast tracts of land with an unknown number of pressure-sensitive bombs hidden just underground, out of sight. Many animals have senses far superior to those of humans. This has been exploited in ordnance removal. Dogs and even giant rats have been used for their greater senses of smell. Using animals has the advantages of lower risk, or generally animals weigh less than humans and so are less likely to set off mines, and greater portability and usability. A small truck of dogs which can sniff around a field versus a large outfitted military tank which drives about detonating said field. Unfortunately, these animals all need to be rigorously trained, which is rather expensive and time-consuming, and then fed and kept, which is, as dog owners can attest, also rather expensive and time-consuming. It's at this point that science turned to everybody's favorite laboratory critter, the guinea pig of modern biology, the mouse. Mice would be much easier and cheaper to breed and keep than, say, dogs. How fortuitous it is, then, that researchers at Hunter College in New York discovered that mice have olfactory neurons which specifically detect the smell of DNT, which is a similar smelling precursor to TNT. They genetically modified mice to have more of these DNT-sensing neurons. As a result, their genetically modified mice are 500 times more sensitive to the smell of DNT than their non-modified brethren. This means that the mice do not need to be trained to detect mines. When exposed to TNT, the mice, as a result of their increased sensitivity, alert their handlers to the explosive's presence by cleverly having a seizure. Microchipping the mice, researchers propose, could foreseeably enable a large group of mice to be released into a minefield, quickly and efficiently creating a map on a nearby computer of mine locations. This system of innately trained mice could be able to map out a large mined area very quickly and efficiently.